Rot is one of the main things many people growing succulents fear. And the fear is valid as fungus and other organisms that cause rot are much more common in succulents than other plants. The reasons for this are many and in the majority of cases they are all caused by water and humidity. But many think that rot is just something that happens to succulents that are overwatered, not realizing rot is often caused by fungus. I sell succulents at markets and often get to talk to people. In most cases they are horrified when I tell them rot can spread from plant to plant. And so in this video we'll have a look at why rot spreads and how to prevent it and stop it from attacking other plants. Rot is caused by fungus, bacteria and fungus-like organisms called umicota. Spread to other plants is most often caused by fungus and umicota as they produce spores that can travel in the air and land on other plants. Rot caused by soil dwelling decay bacteria usually happens when part of the plant dies and this can spread to the rest of that particular plant. But they are unlikely to spread to other healthy plants unless they also have dead or dying parts. All rot causing organisms however need water and or humidity to thrive. If the fungi spores have landed on a plant surface and they have continuous moisture for around 9 or so hours, they can easily start establishing themselves and slowly consume the plant. At some stage they will produce fruiting bodies which will then release a new set of spores that can easily travel to neighboring plants. Some spores can travel quite a distance when carried by wind or insects. And this is how rot causing organisms spread and kind of become contagious. One rotting plant can infect plants around it if the conditions are right. Prevention is always best, but sometimes it is hard to keep these organisms out. If you're growing succulents, it is very likely you will come across rot at some stage. But please don't panic if you find a rotting plant. It doesn't mean that all of the plants around it will automatically start rotting. First, let's take a step back and start with prevention. Rot causing organisms will have hard time surviving in dry, sunny and well ventilated areas. If you think of where fungi thrive the most, it's almost always shaded, moist areas with a lot of that organic matter. The good thing is that most succulents are sun lovers and grow well in an environment where fungus doesn't. So if you can provide a good sunny spot, that's a good first step. But even that may not be enough if succulents get way too much water and their surface is wet for a long time. It is best to let succulents dry out completely between waterings, but it's not always possible when the rains come. Many succulents are surprisingly tolerant of rain. I grow the majority of mine, which is at times over 100,000 succulents outdoors all year round. But when the rain sets in, I do move certain succulents, usually Echeveria cultivars, in a rainproof greenhouse. If you collect succulents or have some that are special to you, I'd suggest to move them under cover if it rains consistently for more than 3 days. If you however can't move them, you can preventatively spray with fungicide. This should deal with the fungus but will be ineffective against other organisms. Another way to prevent rot is to remove any dead or dying leaves and inflorescence after flowers start dying off. Repotting yearly may also help shake off any old soil and with it all dead roots. It's quite normal for some roots to die back a little. Having any dead material can be appealing to rot organisms so keeping things neat can prevent them from moving in. And the last prevention measure you can take is to not keep succulents too crowded. Crowding can increase humidity in the immediate vicinity and leaves that push against each other may die as a result. However, none of this may be of any help if your climate is not succulent friendly. In certain climates, you may not be able to prevent rot in succulents unless you have a ventilated greenhouse with fans. Tropical climates, for instance, are just not suitable to grow many succulents. Some cultivars may be okay, but most will likely struggle. High humidity and constant rain is not good for the great majority of succulents. 
Now let's have a look at how to stop rot spreading if a plant gets it. Once you spot a plant with signs of rot, it's best to isolate it immediately from other plants. Ideally, it should be completely disposed of. You can choose to treat it with fungicides or by cutting off the rotted bits and save healthy growth. But just be aware that this can cause further spread if the rot is caused by a fungus and any spores survive. The surrounding plants and surfaces should be sprayed down with fungicide as well. Hydrogen peroxide may also help with rot causing fungus and bacteria residing in soil. But the most important thing is to remove any plants that show signs of rot and not give the fungus a chance to create spores. And on that note it's time to end. I hope this video was useful and if you'd like to add anything or ask a question you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you so very much for watching.